Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to manage forms in NopCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. So before we get into how to manage forms in NopCommerce, let's talk about forms. What is a form? A form is an online discussion section where people can hold conversation in the form of posted messages. Now you must be wondering why do you need a form on an e-commerce site? If you're running an e-commerce store for your online business, why do you even need a form? So having form or discussion board on your e-commerce website is a great way to provide an option for your customers to communicate with you. So basically you're providing an option for a customer to contact you to ask questions. You can even start a community about your product or services that you are offering to online customers. So when you install NopCommerce, you also get a feature of forms out of the box. But by default, the form section is disabled. So let's look into the dashboard section to see how we can enable forms in NopCommerce. Let's go to the dashboard section. And from the dashboard, you'll go to configuration, settings, and form settings. And you'll get a form setting page where by default you'll see form enable is not checked. So all you have to do is just enable it and save it. Okay. So once you save it, if you go back to your public store, if I refresh, you'll see a form link will be added in the footer section right here. And now when I click on it, you can see the form section of the site, which is good. All right, so before we get into all the settings, let's uh, look into how we can add the form groups and topics, all you can see here. So all you have to do is go into the dashboard section again, and we will talk about these settings again. I'll get back to you. So go into the content management, and from here you can select forms. And here you'll see by default there is a group general and there are some topics inside that group so let's for this example let's disregard that and let's add a brand new topic so let's say if you're running an online business and you would like to add a form group so let's say new product and services and let's make the display order as two and save it here Okay, great. Now, when you have added a new group, all you have to do is you can add a new form. And within the new form, you can select what your category or group. In this case, we are adding a new form within new products and services. So let's say we are running an online store and we just launched a new product called, I don't know, let's say keyboard. ask questions about keyboard okay simple enough okay now you can see I have added one topic within the new product and services let's add a new topic here let's say you also make monitors ask questions about monitors then you can make the display order as two and you have saved it okay so now we have two topics within this group called new product and services now if you go back to the public store and you refresh it you can see I have a new group here called new product and services and within this group I have keyboards and monitors so now when your online customers are on your website, they can go to the form section and they can ask questions about keyboard that you're selling to your customer. Or they can ask questions about monitors. So all they have to do is simply just go to the monitor section and add a topic. Let's say, what is the price of ABC monitor? Let's say the customer is posting a question. OK, 
Okay. And they get an option to be notified by email when somebody posts on this topic, they can submit it. And there you go. The question has been posted. All you have to do is keep a track um, of your forms and answer questions to your customers. If that's the reason you are adding form on your not conference site. Okay. So basically this is how you can add groups and within uh, the group, you can add topics for a form. Now let's look into the settings for form, how you can manage your form. So once you enable the form, you can basically do relative date and time formatting. You can enable signature. Signature is basically um, when you have enabled signature, if you go, if the user go into the my account section, they will get an option called signature here. So I can add, this is my signature. I can add it. Now, if I go to the form section, now if I go to the page where I added my question, you will see my signature right under the my post. So this is very helpful if you know you're allowing your users to post their website or any anything that they they would like to share in the signature. And you can add option to show customer post counts. Basically here you can see I have total post one. So basically allowing uh, customers to show their total number of posts on the form. You can select BB code editor or simple text. By default it's BB code editor, which um, gives you these options. So if I reply here, so this is called all the options you have to post a picture, hyperlink and everything. This is the BB code editor by default. Okay, so let's look into the permission section. And here you can allow guests to create posts. Usually you don't want to do that so that you can avoid spam posts or anything like that. So it's, it's very helpful to, it's a better to keep this option disabled. But in some businesses you may want to allow guest users to create posts so you can use this. You can allow guest users to create new topics. You can allow customer to edit their post. So if you don't give this permission, basically once they post it, they won't be able to edit their post. You can allow customer to delete their post, allow customer to manage form subscription. This way they can subscribe to different forms. You can allow users to vote. So basically voting system is by default it's activated. So if I go to the form section here, you can see I have the voting system. I cannot vote to my own post, but a different user can definitely vote if the post is useful. So you can allow maximum votes per day and you can also activate private messages. It's a very useful feature if you're running a forum. So if I activate this feature, Let's say this and I will save the settings. Okay. So now just keep looking at the top section. When I refresh the page, there will be a new option called inbox. And now you can send messages to different users. So now if I refresh on the forum, you've got an option called PM. This means private messages. So you can send or receive private messages and communicate with different users on the form. It's a, it's a very useful feature. You can send a message test testing. In this case, I'm just sending a message to myself and right here, the receiver of this private message will receive a notification right here because I have selected show alert for PM and right here is the inbox and you can check the message and you can reply back here. Okay. And you can use this option if you like the user to receive an email for the power message notification. So let's move on to the page size settings. 
In this case, you can control the page site for the topics. So you can have a number of topics in your forms group within the so within keyboard we can have let's say you would like to have total of 10 topics per page and you can do posts how many posts you would like per page search results and active discussion page so if I go back to the form section right here you can see active discussions so you can define how many active discussion topics you like per page and feed you can enable form feed it's basically like a RSS feed for each form and you can define how many form feed counts active discussion you can enable the RSS feed for active discussion as well and you can define how many feed counts you like in that feed and you can save this and that's it so this is how you can manage forms in OpCommerce now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video hope this was helpful this video is brought to you by OpCommerce open source shopping cart thank you